Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of the award-winning Fearless Tarot, How to Give a Positive Reading in Any Situation, and the upcoming Tarot in Love, Consulting the Cards and Matters of the Heart, which is now, I'm so excited to announce, available for pre-order on Amazon. And for all of those of you who have pre-ordered Tarot and Love already, I want to give you a sincere thank you because pre-orders really help uh, potential booksellers know that um, books by me uh, are something that they might want to have on their shelves. So I do appreciate that so much. Uh, it's time for this week's Oracle Reveal. So earlier today on Instagram, I placed up a photo of three different animals and I asked you to use your intuition and just ask yourself which animal's calling to you because that animal has as your message. And the three animals were the ant, the cow, or the cat. So if you're just joining me now, ask yourself which animal is getting caught in your head because that animal has your message. So for those of you who picked the ant spirit, it says time to collaborate. And ants are cooperative creatures. They work together in their colonies and they create uh, and affect massive changes. They can lift more than their body weight. And so ant could be an archetype to call on if you're struggling with something that's really heavy, that's something that feels overwhelming. And sometimes this card can also say that instead of trying to do it all by yourself, this is a good time for cooperation or teamwork or getting organized in your thinking. So don't be afraid to ask for help when you're going to need it. Uh, first card for Ant is where it's best to place your focus, and we actually get the Page of Pentacles. And for me, the Page of Pentacles is the eternal student of the tarot. He represents knowledge and wisdom, and also perfecting something. The Page of Wands is also a figure who is the child of the element of Earth. He's a Pentacles card, but he's got his head in the clouds, his head's in the air. So there's this beautiful marriage when we see the Page of Pentacles of your ideas and then manifesting them in the real world, making them uh, actually uh, create something uh, or affecting some sort of change in the world around you. And so this is a time to learn, to study, to grow. And as far as your goals are gonna be concerned, if you pick the ant, you need to do a little bit more research right now. And you also might wanna pay attention to the details. The details are really gonna matter. And be patient. Uh, both the Page of Pentacles and the ant archetype are both uh, symbols for patience, taking time with something. Uh, second card is advice from your inner wisdom if you pick the ant, and we got the emperor card. So your patience is gonna pay off. In fact, the emperor represents affecting positive change in the real world, externally around you. Uh, he's also a card of mastery, kingship, wisdom. And I just feel like if you take the time right now to really learn about what you're trying to do, uh, and if you really get those details, and if you're patient with this, uh, eventually you're gonna be the master of your own dominion. And the emperor can also just tell you uh, to know when the right time to act is. So make your preparations, absolutely take your time, be patient. But then also when you're getting that signal from the universe or internally, emotionally, that it's time to move on this opportunity, that emperor card is telling you to be bold and to go for it. And then finally, the mythic archetype that's going to help you is actually Pandora. And in Greek, the name Pandora means all gifts. Um, and this could just be a time when you're really utilizing all of your gifts. Uh, Pandora is also the figure who opens the jar and all the plagues come out of the uh, into the world, but she shuts the lid quickly before hope escapes. And so I just feel for you, if you pick the ant, that hope is still in your hands. And no matter what's been unleashed in your life or what you're opening the floodgates to, uh, there is a sense that there's this glimmer of hope, but you might need to use all of your gifts to fully manifest it at this time. So I just think utilizing not just all of your gifts, but also the gifts of the people you're gonna be collaborating with are really gonna open up doorways for you. So don't be afraid of working with others. Um, the second animal is the cow spirit, and the card says the miracles are endless, and the cow is often ar an archetype of abundance, wealth, nourishment. Uh, a lot of humans even drink cow's milk, um, and so there is this sense that uh, there's nurturing happening here. And I just think that cow is, again, sort of similarly to the ant, a card of looking at the long game and really nurturing your goals and being patient with them uh, as they grow. Uh, the first card for cow is where it's best to place your focus, and we actually got the Wheel of Fortune. 
when the Wheel of Fortune shows up, it can tell yourself, uh, tell you to open yourself uh, to unexpected strokes of luck. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is a card of chance uh, happenings that just come out of the blue. And some of these chance things can affect you positively, and sometimes they can turn things upside down. And the important with the wheel of For importance of the wheel of fortune is not getting on the rim of the wheel and going up and down with every changing circumstance, but to get to the hub of the wheel, the center of the wheel. Let all the changing circumstances happen around you, and stay tethered to your spirit, to your center. This is going to give you the wisdom to uh, withstand whatever changes in fortune come your way. And the Wheel of Fortune is also just an incredibly lucky card. So this could be a time where luck is when your preparation meets your opportunity. So get prepared, get things all in a row, uh, get your ducks in a row as the saying is. Uh, and when that opportunity comes, you'll be ready to move on it and your luck will shift. Uh, the second card is advice from your inner wisdom and we get another major arcana card in the star. And the star is all about uh, centering getting to the wise seat within you. There's also this little ibis bird in the background, which is associated with the god uh, Toth uh, in ancient Egypt. And he's the god of the moon and the god of writing and the god of wisdom. And so this could be an important time where you're really tapping into your own wisdom. And you're really utilizing your spirit at this time to call your moves. If you let spirit choose your moves, you're gonna win the game. And then finally, the mythic archetype that's going to be helpful for you is actually Pontos, uh, which is a name for the sea in ancient Greek, and it has to do with the unknown, all the things that are on the edge of our understanding or knowing. So I really feel this magical time for Kao where the reality of your situation is intersecting with the unknown, with the mystery, with the universe, and this is gonna lead to wonderful breakthroughs. And then finally, we have the cat spirit, and this card says, claim your independence. And cat is uh, nothing if not independent. Uh, cats come when they want to come to you, not because you call them. And so the cat could be uh, an archetype for you that you might be attracted to when you need to go your own road, when you need to believe in yourself and follow your own instincts and not feel pressure uh, to submit to the will of somebody else. And cat is also a good card for just the, you know getting alone time or going off on your own for a time. Uh, first card for cat is where it's best to place your focus. And we got this resilient nine of wands card. The figure on this card has been bumped and bruised by life. He's got a bandage on his head and yet he's still standing. And he's taken the nine wands that he's gathered and with eight of them, he's built a fence behind him. And this represents boundaries. So for Kat, I feel like anyone or any situation that's crossed you to before uh, or caused difficulty, learn from that. Remember that and put that boundary up so that it's not so easily accessible to you moving forward. Uh, the next card is advice from your inner wisdom if we get the cat and we get the tower card. Now, whenever we see the tower, we go, oh, you know, because it does show upheaval. And this could indicate that in your inner wisdom, if you pick the cat, you need to accept the thing that you've been in denial about, that you've been like, la, 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 nothing's happening outside the tower. I don't want to think about it. But it's so important that you are accepting a truth. And it has to do with a boundary that's been crossed before. So for Kat, this might be a time to be independent, not to feel pressured or suckered into uh, somebody else's will, but really learning from your own experience and um, believing, you know, your lying eyes, as it were. And so I just think it's so important for you to accept reality, accept what needs to be let go of, even if it means that you're needing to take a step back from something that's toxic or difficult. And then finally, the mythic archetype that's going to help you with this is Uranus, and he's the sky father in mythology. Um, and he represents the heavens. He represents the stars as well. This could be a time when you're really applying a broader perspective. This might also be a time when you're disassociating from what you feel emotionally you want to do. And instead, you're really aligning with that element of air, which has all to do with the logical thing to do, the practical thing to do at this time. I think if you let reason guide your steps, you're going to make the best decision. And that is this week's Oracle. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always schedule a one-on-one -on -one tarot session with me at ElliotOracle.com. Otherwise, I hope you all have a safe and happy week, and I will see you again next time, so take care.